my little blog where we will be covering <laughs> how to do G mega chord rolls. So if you don't know how to do G chords in general, G major and G minor, links are below. And same thing for chord rolls, how to do a G chord roll, because what we're doing right now is doubling it and making them fancier and bigger. So make sure you, I've got some tips in there and I'll add them in these videos too. But so, since we're doing G major, and we're doing, doing mega chord rolls, this is our, our limit. So depending on what piano you have, it kind of varies. If, unless you have a real piano, a real keyboard with 88 keys. But, um, so the easiest way to describe it is, you know, middle C, you go two octaves lower, and that was where you normally start with mega chord rolls, and we moved up to G, five notes up. So that's where we go. And then we have four octaves. Two, right there. Okay. Now, G major is our white chord. So that's the first one you're going to be doing. And then followed by the G minor, because all we do is change one going up, we all know we're doing G chords, right? So you know you're looking for G. And then when you reach the super top, make sure you use number two or three, because those are our strong fingers and you don't get these weird positions. And then on the way down is what you really need to pay attention to is what are you looking for? So you should know by now that we're looking for the fifth of the chord. So what is the fifth in the G chord? So you have G, B, D, right? That's your top note, and that's what you need to look for on the way down. If you look for G and you start with G, it's gonna sound awful, right? Well, not awful, it's a more backwards, but anyway. So I'll go slow, okay, on the way up. So start with G, the white one. Look for a G, again, G, cross over, ta -da! two or three, and back down. This hand never moves, so this one's you're like totally safe for fun. But on the way down, look for D, D again, major mega chord roll. So now, G major to G minor, the outer notes don't move, right? You keep G and D. Your B is gonna go to B flat. Okay, but everything else is the same. So, G minor, G minor, look for a G, G, cross over, two or three, look for D, look for D. and be fancy, you're going to go whoop with G, and then you go again, and you don't stop. You don't play the bottom note again, you go back to G minor, and it sounds super smooth and pretty. So, I'll give you a little sample. Right? I never repeated that bottom note. Okay, so, we are working in the Cascade book, and we are working on mega chord rolls. So this right column, and we have moved down to G major and G minor. So G major is your top one, right? Uh, all white. And then underneath is G minor. And if you can do both, all those four octaves, and you can color those shapes. And that's it for G mega chord rolls, yay!